Okay, so hi, my name is Jason Dooley. I am here at Space Apps Challenge, and we are talking to the camera today to talk about some of the stuff that we're showing these fine people on how they could use um, NASA's uh, websites, data, and developer resources to do space apps and make stuff. So um, I'm gonna show uh, a bunch of websites and services that we have, and I'm going to talk a little bit about high-level overviews of these and kind of some of the stuff we've been discussing with the group today. I also have with me here Christian from Socrata who will be coming in after and he's going to talk about some of the more in-depth API stuff uh, how to use the Socrata platform. Um, so let's begin. So first um, I think my browser is up um, here so um, we're showing uh, our website open. Let me make this a little bit uh, bigger here. Uh, we're showing our website uh, open.nasa.gov and this is essentially our blog platform that allows uh, our team members to put their thoughts out on the internet so we're we're everything that happens all the highlights we're blogging here all the time so please check this out and give us feedback so just a 30 second plug for for that website um, another thing we do heavily uh, that's related to space apps related to the work we do is we are very passionate about open source software so um, one of the functions of our team uh, in NASA OCIO is to reach out to uh, missions, uh, projects in NASA and get software that's been uh, developed that's awesome and get it onto the internet for other people to use. So we have a couple of things that we do to do that. So we have a process in place that allows uh, our developers in the agency to go from closed source to open source. So when the software is open source, we register it on a site code.nasa.gov. So I'm showing that site here, uh, nothing special, uh, just has a bunch of software projects organized by metadata description. Um, and you could search if you're interested in, in uh, APIs, you could search and filter uh, and find stuff. Now, you wouldn't find necessarily APIs you would call for an application, but if you wanted to run actual APIs, uh, and implement them on your own web servers. There's a lot of code here to do that. So some really good stuff. Um, these, uh, each of these entries represents a software project that we uh, sponsor. And not all of them, but most of them are linked to our github.com presence. So inside github.com, we have the NASA organization. And that organization was started uh, by the former team years ago, and it's continued to grow. Uh, we have 127 people in there now, uh, mostly NASA people, civil service and contractors, and then we have a ton of teams. And in here we have a bunch of repositories. So one of the things that we tell our space apps participants is, come in here and see what's here and fork it and make it better, do something with it. Um, a lot of this stuff is applicable to challenges. For example, Explain Connect, this is a piece of software that some uh, folks over at Ames, where I work, uh, wrote, and they have the uh, open source air traffic challenge. So that, this is uh, very exciting, and um, this is the, the reason why we have this stuff on the internet, is to, to have citizens use it. So that's our blogging platform. We talked about source code. Now, for really the uh, space apps, since they have a lot of application developers here building their own solutions, we really want to feed them a bunch of data. So. We've come a long way with our data at NASA, but we still have a long way to go, but this is a good first step. We recently uh, rolled out a, a version of data.nasa.gov, our NASA's data portal. So this website uh, started with uh, the OMB, M, uh, or the Presidential Mandate M1313 to, for us to uh, catalog our data. So we did that, we started with 100 data sets and then went to 1,000, now we're up to approximately 16,000. So we had all these records that were being managed in data.gov, but we really needed a way for our own brand to be uh, on a website that allows folks to come and find NASA-specific data. So what we did was we teamed up with Socrata and uh, some uh, resources internal, and we put our heads together and we came up with this site. And this site basically depicts three things, data, stories, and developers. We want to capture those. Well, we, we have folks that tell great stories with data. We want them to blog about those, and those blogs are aggregated here uh, inside of our blogging component. Similarly, we have a lot of developers that want to come to the site, and they want to find stuff and just start hacking on it. So we have a developer portal, which 
Uh, I'll show uh, some, some stuff here, a couple of APIs, and then Christian will show uh, uh, some more details um, there. Um, and finally, we have a data catalog to, to essentially go and now no longer having to hunt for stuff, we could do searching and uh, filter by category. So essentially what we have here, this uh, view is the data catalog. I just clicked on data catalog and got here. This page allows you to sort by types uh, and categories. So here I'm looking at all categories. Um, and types, there's various kinds. I, I won't go into each one, but many of these data sets are, it doesn't mean the data is running on our site. We respect the authoritative source and wherever possible, we provide pointers to those data. So what our responsibility is for open data, 99% of the time is to catalog the data, describe it with federal government uh, approved version 1.1 uh, metadata schema and represent it here. Uh, so one, we're automating our reporting and two, we're making it easier for our citizens to find stuff. We also do have data sets on Socrata that you can not only just point to, but you could actually host on the platform. So if you look here, um, when I went to the home page and clicked on Space Apps data Challenge data sets, we essentially took all the data sets that we provided specific for Space Apps challenges and some others that we thought could be useful, um, and we put them here as data sets. So um, I'm going to let uh, Socrata go into more details, but those are all here, and you can click on them and look at a spreadsheet view on the web. Uh, you could make API calls to them. You can create visualizations. And all this you could put under your data.nasa.gov account on the site and persist your work. Um, so APIs, um, we have an API catalog uh, at slash developer. And um, this gives you some idea of some of the ways you can call the developer resources. I don't have a lot of time here today, so I am going to pick up one. Um, so we have a bunch of APIs that we've been building uh, within OCIO uh, with our PIF Dan Hammer. Um, so he's created uh, a, a, a beautiful set of APIs uh, that uh, are very relevant to the work we do in data science and, and for space apps. And so I'm just going to quickly show that. So here, uh, what we've done is we've integrated this uh, developer portal into the data.gov application developer key infrastructure. So here you apply for your key. And I'll just do that real quick. and sign up. And now I've got an API key that I could sign all my calls with. All these, uh, all those calls are, uh, these could be signed with calls for not only NASA data, but all data.gov data, .gov data uh, FDA data uh, on their open site too. Um, so that will allow you to essentially uh, call these endpoints and make calls and get back stuff. So here, I basically just issued a select, uh, give me the default picture of the day, and here's my API key, and I want it in JSON format, and I got back a bunch of JSON. So now I can take that, put it into my app, and build some stuff. So here we have a bunch of APIs uh, with some rate limiting. Future plans on this, we are building something now called api.nasa.gov. So that is basically gonna be a layer around our APIs for management, which will provide uh, robust handling of API keys, Right now, they're just kind of in, baked in there. But also rate limiting, um, caching, and uh, other uh, analytical hooks for us to, to do our reporting and to see trending. But um, please uh, come to this uh, our website and check this stuff out. And we encourage you to give us some, uh, give us some hits. Uh, let me throw a plug out. So here we have a site feedback. Please send us a note and tell us uh, what you like about the site, what you want to see improved. And if you have any data sets that you think are uh, relevant for uh, us, suggest a data set. We'd love to hear from you. That's what I had. Thank you. All right. And Christian, you're up.